today's video, we're opening up the next 25th anniversary set, Duelist Nexus. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. This one is an OCG set, but we are getting the set in the TCG, I think in a couple of months, but inside we can get 25th anniversary secret rare. So we're really trying to get that out of this box, but before that we have a giveaway. I will be giving away a box of this set. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below when we get a 25th anniversary rare. I don't know if these are guaranteed or not, because OCG, they do things differently than we do. And I wanna shout out Yugi Market, they sent me a couple of these boxes and the one to give away. So if you guys want to check them out and grab some OCG stuff yourself, the link will be in the description. So go check them out if you're interested in any OCG stuff. Let's crack this open and see what we can pull and get a little preview of what we're going to get in the TCG soon. I don't think I've ever opened a... Have I? No, maybe one time we've opened a box. Oh, wait, they have a promo in their boxes? Okay, I don't know how this works. Let's just figure this out on our, you know, together, I guess. So, okay, does this... How does this work? Oh, it's got a big flap, so... There's a Duelist Nexus extra pack. Then there's, a, oh, that isn't a promo. It looks like a promo, it's just a flap, okay? Maybe it's in here. So Duelist Nexus, let's see what's in this little promo pack here. I guess you get one of these in every box, I'm not totally sure. It is a Ultra Rare, okay, some sort of Xyz Dragon. I don't know this one. The Dune, okay, it's got a little Dune name. So it's not like the, you know, movie, but <laughs> let's just keep going. All right, now to see if I can open these things. They usually have a pull tab. Oh, there we go, nice and easy. That is how you do it, guys. I am a professional in opening OCG product. I am hoping that they have guaranteed 25th anniversary rares just because, uh, you know, it'd be more fun, but I really don't know if they do. So, I mean, they don't even have a super there. So I'm guessing that they don't. We usually open more of the rarity collections where it's like a bunch of different rarities. This one seems more like a regular booster set from what I can tell. But I, you know, as I've said already in this video, I don't know super well. Okay, this is what I don't like about the pull tabs. Sometimes they go all the way down. Sometimes they don't. Then it's hard to get the cards out like this. Come on. Okay, there we go. We got it. Let's see what we can get. Five cards. So it's a 36 pack set. Um, which means we're gonna have five cards each pack. That's another rare, which me makes sense why we're not getting guaranteed foils. Okay, next pack. We gotta move them over to the side. I think that's the most efficient way. Yes, I figured it out, guys. I figured out how to open these. I really don't like pull tabs. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Let me know. Would you like pull tabs in TCG or just like the regular little booster pack? Uh, it does have a little bit more of a... I thought that was a foil, but it wasn't. It has a little bit more, like, it feels like the pack is a little bit more secure. You're not gonna, like, damage anything in here or anything, uh, which I guess is a good thing, but some of the TCG packs are, like, very, very wimpy. It feels like, uh, and probably why we have a lot of damaged cards right out of the packs, you know, in the new sets. So we have a Ultra Rare. There we go. We'll take it. I don't know these cards. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I guess because they are new cards, how am I supposed to know them? We're just gonna look at the artworks, I guess, and appreciate them. That is a pretty cool looking one. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Duelist Nexus. What else are we gonna get? 25th anniversary. Anniversary. We've gotten an ultra rare so far and then we got that promo which I don't know if it's always the same or not It's always interesting to oh, I, we recognize this guy, but uh, he's on different card artwork. That's a kind of a cool little bubble card We have a we've seen that one a couple of times and another ultra we got a link right here Very nice. That is definitely an anime card if I've ever seen one which it's Yu-Gi-Oh So it makes sense. Here we go next pack Gotta believe I don't know if we're gonna be able to find prices for these kind of things like I mean It's probably gonna be pretty hard. Oh, whoa what is this? It's like a moray of greed almost, but it's a little bit shiny. It kind of looks like it's in Aladdin or something like that. Okay, nice. We have a, a pearly card. That's an Xyz pearly. I mean, I know that. It's definitely a pearly card. You can't really mistake the Yu-Gi-Oh of Eevee. I mean, it kind of gives itself away when you're when you're looking at it. But cool, cool, cool. What else can we get? Will it be something epic? Come on, guys. Let's see. Ooh, okay, that's another rare. So we're getting all we've gotten so far are rares and ultras, I think. No supers and nothing high higher than that either uh, higher than an ultra I should say not higher than a super because obviously so uh, I don't know if what if it's just 25th anniversary Ooh, there's a super rare speaking of that's a nice looking card looks like a Shiranui card that's what I would guess it is if I had to you know put a guess on it I haven't like really looked into this set too much because we are pretty far away from this set in the TCG I think it's in June or something when it comes out I could be wrong about that but that feels right because we're almost we're in basically May when you guys are seeing this so we're about a month or month and a half away from that okay but I mean every new set having these, these well not every new set because obviously Cyberstorm didn't but a lot of the new sets have the 25th anniversary rares is going to be interesting to see what they reprint you know how 
I mean, they're putting like 20 to 25 in some of the sets, so it should be pretty crazy to open those up. I'm excited for that. Uh, oh, yeah, that looks like a, a purple beast guy from Flaming Eternity. You guys know what I'm talking about. You old school fans. What's his name? He's like the, the something of Master of Beasts or something. No, that's Alpha. I don't, I don't remember. He's a beast. There's another pearly trap card. We have a... Uh, what is this guy doing? I don't know what's going on there. Kind of looks like uh, when Aragorn was talking to the dead, you know, bringing him back so they could uh, beat the orc armies and stuff. Yeah, that's what, what that reminds me of. <laughs> okay, we have the little cute dolphin guy. We have a trap. We have emergency and another ultra rare. Is it all ultra rares in here? Oh, that's a ritual, not a link. Okay, we've gotten a lot of different rarities here. So, well, not rarities. I mean, uh, types of cards. So we have a ritual, a synchro, a link, and an ultra. So all four are different. What else can we get? Can we get some big, like a 25th anniversary secret, a ghost rare, something like that? I don't even know if ghosts are in here. Ultra rare, ultimate, I mean, we know ultra, but ultimate rare, that'd be pretty cool as well. I'd be down for any of those. Cool to see these Japanese products. Speaking of Japan, Rux and Special, those are super rare. I might have a special video coming up regarding Japan. We'll have to see uh, when that comes out. I don't know exactly, but it could be something cool coming out. So keep an eye out for that. I'm excited for that. By the way, we're also almost at 200,000 subscribers, which, you know, 195-ish right now. So about 5K away. So if you guys want to subscribe, that 200K special is going to be epic. We're going to be opening a lot of packs. Should be pretty awesome. I'm excited. Hopefully we'll get some crazy pulls like we have in some of our previous special videos. Oh, a prismatic secret. There we go. Our first secret. Are those just swords on a wall? Those are pretty cool. I like that. All right. Next up, Duelist Nexus pack. Here we go. Will we get something crazy? We've got a lion. We've got a dino. We've got another dino. Are these actual dino cards? I wonder if I could read them, I would be able to tell you, but I can't. Okay. <laughs> That's how you guys feel too, right? Now let's get that 25th anniversary. Sake. We got a super rare. That's pretty cool. Let's get some cool rarities in here. What about collector rare? You got any in here? I don't know. This is Duelist Nexus. So does that mean it's a Duelist pack? I'm pretty sure it does. Wait, is isn't there, is this the one? No, wait, wait, wait. I thought the Volcanics one, I can't get these out. This is insane. This is why I don't like OCG packs, okay? This is what I don't like about them. All right, I don't like having to do the pull tab. It makes it hard to open them up. Super rare. You get in a rhythm with the English packs, being able to open them up, get them out easily, but these, it's hard. Yeah, the Volcanic du it was the Duelist pack, so I think that one's gonna have a Ghost Rare. I think that's right. I can't remember. Too many sets coming out right now that they've already kind of released some info on, so it's getting hard to keep up with. So we're over halfway through this. Oh, I was about to, I was about to do the old, you know, TCG opening. That does not work on these. It's very difficult. You gotta really rip these things. Very strong plastic. That's a crocodile. Can we get something epic? No, not that time. That's just a spell card. Few more packs here. Let's see what else we can get. Can we get a 25th anniversary secret? Let's go. We got a pot of scary. We've got a uh, spell card and a rare. Okay, I don't recognize. I mean, I, I don't recognize a lot of things here, but obviously they're new cards, so it's like, yeah, you're not gonna recognize them. But there's some things that feel like throwbacks, but a lot of it's is new so i don't know him too well here we go we have a i mean i guess we're going to recognize some of this card artwork when we get it i'm assuming most of it will be the same sometimes it's different on this 25th and or these uh <gasps> Ooh, we got some shiny. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay, okay. Emergency. And we got that is the ultra rare or ultimate rare, I should say. OCG ultimate rare has this very shiny look to it. I really like it. I hope that we bring this to TCG at some point. Not necessarily get rid of the old ulti, but maybe have both. But I really like these. I think these look amazing. If they put these in main sets, it'd be really cool. Like the texture on them is really cool. So I'm a huge fan of these OCG ultis. So it looks like you can get ultis in here, which is pretty exciting. Now that is not mean we're going to be able to get ulties in the TCG. Knowing us, we probably will not be able to get ulties, but if we could, I mean, that would be awesome. See, look at this corner. Look at this corner. It looks like the TCG stuff. Okay, it was just that one. That's good. We have a rare. Okay, so what else can we get? We got an ulti. Can you get collector rares in here? Can you get, you know, Starlight 25th anniversary? I know you can get 25th anniversary out of here, but will we actually get one? I don't know what the you know, ratios are for those things. We have a rare there. Couple more packs. What will we get? Will we get something crazy? Another Dink Corner, man. Not good. Not good. No Dink Corner Super Rare. Very cool. All right, come on. Give us a 25th anniversary secret. That would be pretty awesome. Let's go. Come on. What will it be? We have a, that's just a rare. Okay, I was like, is this something? No, it's not. Okay, why is this one not wanting to? 
There we go. What can we get? Will it be something good? Oh, that's a super. Okay, nice. Now, there's a lot of foils in here. We got to count the foils at the end of this. All right, one more pack in this box. Let's see what it will be. We have a... Come on, 25th. Come on. No, not that time. All right, so we got 11 foils there. Let's open one more box, guys, because we know there's ultimates in here. So I'm kind of like, okay, let's see what we can get. And we really want to pull a 25th anniversary secret. It'd be really cool. Let's see if we can do it. We have 36 more packs or 24. I really don't know. It's probably 11 foils out of 36 plus the bonus that would make sense to be a third or whatever okay so we got another one of these let's see if you get the same card i'm guessing you don't but maybe who knows yeah, you don't. There's a super. I bet that's from the set. I feel like they just give you a random foil from the set, which is actually a really cool thing to do in a booster box. Like, imagine you're trying to open something up and you just start off automatically with a foil plus whatever you get randomly. I mean, that'd be pretty sick. I I'd be okay with that in the TCG. That would be a little nice added value. Okay, these packs going everywhere. We got the jar. We got the rare. Okay, well, okay. Not opening these very well. But what do you expect, guys? What do you expect from this? I, ca I can't open these OCGs very well. But what I can do is pull 25th anniversary secret rare. Let's go. We have a, I wonder if ultis are guaranteed as well. We're gonna find out. Well, not technically. I guess if we pulled another ulti, like luckily, and it wasn't actually guaranteed, then maybe that would not prove it. But at the same time, maybe it will. Let's see, we have, and that's a Ruxin special, a super rare right there. Very cool, we'll take it. Now Duelist Nexus, bless us with something even better, such as an ulti, a 25th, a nothing there. All right, come on, come on. Give us some luck here. This is where it starts. We pull something big. It is a ultra rare. Another one of those. That's not bad. All right, I'm going to try this. I just feel better about this. I don't like the ripping. I don't like it. I think we got one. Here we go. What will it be? Ruxin special into a... Oh, this has to be a charmer. Which one? Is, it's the fire charmer. Whichever one. Whoa check it out 25th anniversary secret rare pulled oh let's go that is huge so they're not guaranteed and we pulled one so i don't know how rare this is but it feels like it could have been a really nice pull and hilariously we had just pulled it in ultra so uh ultra and 25th that's pretty sick okay let's go through these other packs and notice how it was the first pack i opened up the old school way yeah not in the uh not in the weird pull tab we're not doing that we're gonna go through the and see if we can get an ultimate rare the rest of the way. Uh, that'd be pretty cool because we already pulled an ultimate rare. We already pulled a 25th anniversary. That's pretty sick. So I'm wondering if... I'm wondering about the ratios for 25th. So we haven't actually had any in the TCG where the 25th anniversary is in the set. We've had like promo versions and stuff like that. But when it becomes an actual, uh, you know, pullable card in the set. Is it gonna be like a Starlight where it's one in two cases? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to pull than that. I'm guessing they're gonna be more like collector rares if I had to guess, and like one in three boxes, and that would explain how we just got one out of two boxes. But I could be wrong, and that was just like a really insane pull, like maybe it's one in a case or something like that, or it's just different in the OCG, and it's, it's you know, the, it could be completely different ratios in OCG versus TCG. We really don't know, so. It's interesting to speculate about, and we're going to find out pretty soon because we're going to have sets that have these in them. We have another Ultra. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm guessing we're not getting ultis, even though these have ultis. It's just OCG gets nice stuff, and we don't get nice things. Even though we have been getting a lot more nice things recently, I will say that. Dude, this is so much faster. Okay, I'm destroying these packs, though, but it's as much better for uh, actual opening packs. Pretty awesome. Pretty epic. I'm excited that we got a 25th anniversary. Even if I don't... I mean, if I find out, this is like, oh, yeah, it's one every two boxes. I'll still be excited like okay cool we, we still got somewhat lucky you know because if it's one every two sometimes you'll get two in a row that don't have it even though it's one every two you would think you would always get it but you don't that's just how the ratios work. All right, give us a nice one, nothing there. Okay, second box, I would say, uh, the first one was nice, we got the ulti, but second box, it's hard to beat a 25th anniversary secret rare, so I'm guessing that one's gonna be a little better. You know, it feels like we're getting a lot less foils here, but maybe that's just how it goes. Or maybe we just haven't pulled them yet, because we've only opened half. I am literally decimating these packs. I don't, I hope it's not too loud. I feel like it's kind of loud. There's a super rare right there. That's a pretty cool looking card. A lot of stuff involving like swords on the artwork. I don't know, Shiranui, 
Was there a Sh Shiranui Sword Saga card or something? Maybe that's what it is. I just gotta say though, when I stack up the bulk of these cards, the cards feel so nice. They feel so much better. Like they feel super quality and stuff. It's it's just nice to, to you know feel. Not to know, I guess, because then we know that we don't have it. But it's nice to feel it's like, man, TCG would be awesome if these bulk cards felt like super good and super quality even though a lot of time you don't even use them but we have a yeah, okay we've got a few packs left here we haven't really pulled like we pulled like 11 foils that first time. i feel like we pulled like three or four this time so maybe this last few packs are gonna be pretty crazy i don't know maybe i'm just miscounting but uh it feels like we pulled a lot more in the first box in terms of numbers but of course no 25th anniversary secret wow look at this what is happening here i really don't know let's just try to pull this out okay yeah that was that was weird okay got it out we have another super okay there's more foils coming up nice in the last few packs let's see let me know in the comments if you're enjoying these uh ocg openings you guys want to see more of these get a little previews on some of the cool stuff we got coming out some really nice rarities that the ocg has which we may or may not have like the uh the new ultimate rare they have which i don't even think is that new for them anymore i think they've had it for a couple of years Oh, it's speaking of, there it is. So I think I was right because we got this card as a promo at the beginning as an ultra and now we have it as the ultra or ultimate rare, the new ultimate rare. This thing looks amazing, guys. This texture on this card. Wow, these cards look good. I'm such a fan of this rarity. I know a lot of people are, you know, on the fence about the new ult ultimate rarity, but I think if you get one in person, you'll be a big fan of it. I think the big snag for it is that people are like, well, if they get rid of the old ulti, I'll be really mad. And, you know, even though I really like this rarity. And I feel like a lot of people said that about the first ultimate and like they, they made the new ulti back in like 2011 2012 and i think people still you know believe that a lot of people are like man they really made worse ultis but i think both ultis look really really good i think that we can have different versions and them all be nice but they probably won't do them all at the same time so there would be probably like getting rid of the old ulti if they did do that which would be a little sad but uh honestly i think this ulti looks better than our current ulti um if i had to choose one we have a super there but i do like both final pack of duels nexus this has been really fun make sure to check out yugi market guys uh if you you can use my affiliate link down below to check that stuff out uh ocg i cannot open this thing um if you want to have trouble opening some packs you know like me and maybe pull some really cool rarities then check it out well this is this is the worst one yet okay final pack we had to do that here we go let's pull something crazy we have a rare okay nothing in the final pack if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puppets of doom ernesto deanda dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.